Racism is a negative, hateful feeling that impacts the racist more than the person perceiving the racism. These are red herrings, you know. Um, I was taught from when I was a little kid that racism was wrong. From everyone I knew, from everyone. And I still ended up being racist. Think about that. Racism is natural, that's why. I actually used to believe racism was wrong, but now I avoid black people because I have social anxiety and I don't want a confrontation. Wow. Very awesome comment. Thank you for sharing that. The Collective. I also used to believe that racism was wrong before accepting it as a natural occurring phenomenon and, you know, accepting it on a, some emotional levels. As far as avoiding black people because you have social anxiety about a confrontation, I'd be interested to, to hear, like, what do you think the confrontation is going to be about? Do you think there's going to be a racial confrontation? Is there an implication that black people are going to confront you or that they're going to somehow, you know, know that you're a racist or something? Um, what I would suggest to you, though, as someone who, who um, has spent my entire life as a racist around black people, is that you, you just, if, if, if you want to cure your racism, um, if you're having anxiety, anxiety about your racism, I totally understand. Racism is emotional. If you weren't here earlier, that's what I was talking about. Most, most racism um, is emotional. And racism is a negative, hateful feeling that impacts the racist more than the person perceiving the racism. Uh, and that's because the racism, the source of the racism is closer to the expressor of the racism than the recipient. Uh, so if racism is toxic, then it would be the expressor who is the victim of the racism. And, of course, the recipient. But uh, it, it stands to reason that the, that the racist would suffer more from their own racism than the perceived racism that the other person might uh, experience. What you got to do, the collective, is you, you just got to go and you be around black people. You spend time around black people. You'll soon um, see that black people are individuals just like everybody else. They have the same capacity as everybody else. Now, I know there's generalities and stereotypes, which we could say are more or less true. And, it, you know, it could be a numbers game. But but um, in the end, you know, it boils down to the individual. Uh, I, I judge people by their skin color kind of automatically like everybody else does, you know. I know some stereotypes are true. The primary job of our executive organ, which is our brain, is to discriminate. That's, the, that's its job, what it mostly does discriminates against stimuli and loads it into categories and this is how we're able to like think so quickly and be cognitive like this because we're not we're not processing you know every little piece of data Native Americans aren't real hey the collective man thanks for that comment I appreciate you sharing that go meet some black people man they're fine <laughs> they're fine you know you'll find that some of the stereotypes are true across the board and then you'll find exceptions but you know, you really gotta expose yourself. You meet one guy and uh, he could probably change your mind because you'd be like, oh, wait a second, no. Not all black people are the same as Joe Biden would have you believe. I'm too scared, he said. Oh my gosh. I wish I could stay on and talk to you about this because I've dealt with this myself. You're so, okay, so, so you're scared of, you're actually scared of black people or you're scared of the confrontation? Nothing's going to happen. Just find, just find like one nice looking black man to talk to. That's all you got to do. Better yet, find a hot black woman. Yeah, find a hot black woman. Tell her, hey, you know, I've been dealing with racism my whole life and I don't know any black people and could you help me? <laughs> no, that, that might actually not work, but you know, you got to do it naturally. You got to. Or you can keep doing you, you know? There's nothing, uh, there's nothing like that you really need to, there's no reason you really need to go out, I guess, unless it's really impacting you.